I'm going to show you guys how to make air fried Oreos. As you can tell, I already have my croissant dough already laid out onto a pizza pan. We have our Oreos here. We have the, um, the dough here. And we also have powdered sugar for at the end. I also have some tongs here. That we're also going to be using to put to to put in the um to put the Oreos into the air fryer and to get them out. I'll show you how to do that too. So let's get started. I first opened the package and laid out my my uh, croissant dough. Don't worry about it overlapping because it won't stick together. It won't. So, I'm going to grab some Oreos. And I'm going to put one Oreo per dough. I'm going to put it right here. So, put it near the crust part of it. And then we are going to roll them up into a ball. You first overlap that one, pick it up, put this part over, and you want to squeeze this part so it closes. And then squish it to that end right there. And with this end, overlap it right there and you still have that part left over so you close it like that and then with this part here you just put it in the back like that I do this with every single one and then you set it on the pizza pan like that and you continue to do this method throughout the entire thing. Overlap it. Squeeze it. Mush it. And you want to make sure that the entire Oreo is covered. And then
and then overlap it. I know a lot of you guys have been asking me to do this one because you guys have won the recipe. So I'm showing you guys how. It's final one. That should be eight to a pack which is just fine eight to a pack is perfect actually because you have a lot that you're making so okay now that we have all of them put together now i'm going to show you guys how to air fry them let's go Okay, this is our air fryer right here. So we're going to open this and you'll have a little tray right here. And then with that, you hold the tray open so it doesn't fall. And you can fit a lot of them in here at the same time. You'll use your tongs to do this part too. Close it up and we're going to put these on 350 so they need to go they need to go to 350 which is right here on the timer so go right there and then you're wanting to put it on for not that long. So, we will come back when they are finished and when the bell goes off. Okay, now it's time to take these things out. Let's see how they are. That is how you want them to look when they come out of the air fryer. So, that right there for a second. Now we're going to put them back onto the pizza pan and then we're going to put the powdered sugar on top of it. So, granted, they will be extremely hot. So you got to be extremely careful when doing this. I wasn't leaving you, you boomer. I'm filming. Ah, poop. 
And then we have two that still haven't gone in. So we're gonna go ahead and put those in there. Put that one out of the tray. We're gonna do the same thing for the other two. Set the timer and let those cook. Now we're gonna to go to the others and we're gonna put some powdered sugar on them. Now that we have these, we still have two in the air fryer and we'll do the same thing when they get out too. We're gonna to add some powdered sugar. Yes, I know it's in a Italian cheese blend thing, but we washed it out after we were done with it. And we put powdered sugar in here. Now we're going to be sprinkling some powdered sugar onto these cute little air fried Oreos. And make them look really, really cute this way. And you can't get messy with it too. So that's how you do it. That's how you make air fried Oreos. Now granted, you will need to have some space for them to cool down in, but for the most part, this is how you do it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know in the comments on what I should make next. See you guys later.